Torch, give me strength. Here's the tree Hurricane mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jormungandr's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. Something huge was dragged this way. This card bears the sign of Agit. A ditch was dark so the card would break a wheel. This was an ambush. If it was Agir's cauldron they dragged through here. It must be large indeed. leads towards that giant root. Roughly gutted. This is Yatna work. But why take its organs? The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Soft mass all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. I should not be seen in this area. they get it into this cave. That was not there before. Hard to know what is real in this realm of illusion.
must be a way to reach it.
be my eyes. once stood here, before ruin came upon it. Just raise my hood here. Another life beyond this, I hope it is a better one. Man! 
trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi. The High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunlutha. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned. She shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey! Be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I.
What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. Things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. For so long we made magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Hafið! 
Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungur. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vaults, then? No mead. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of meat. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wits. Here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. Great Yatna, I stand here in awe of your might and majesty. They do not respect weakness. Show some backbone. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat, and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! What can I do to get them to drink faster? <laughs> <laughs> 